that here is Jesus began to make a triumphant entrance into Jerusalem. And he sent two disciples to go, and there will be two donkeys there, will be down there, and I want you to go in the valley, and when you go there, and if anyone asks, why are you loose, and why you are loosing these donkeys in need of them, tell them that Jesus sent you here, and you will not have any more problems. I want you won't have any problems with them allowing you to be able to go forth with the donkeys. Said that Jesus have need of them. My, I have several things that I want to bring out in my message that I want you to understand. The ride that will change the world. Your praise count. Not just only on Sunday. My change is on the way. I want you to think clearly what he said here. When he entered into Jerusalem, and here it has been spoken of by the prophet that the Savior and Messiah is on his way. And now on this Palm Sunday, they hear about Jesus, the king, who is riding on a donkey. He coming in with no charities and huge horses and, 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 and no Clydesdales horses like they have on the Buckweiser. He comes in on a simple donkey. The king of kings, the Lord of lords, that he began to come into Jerusalem. And the multitude that was in the very front of him, and many came along with him. Because wherever Jesus come into the house, there is healing there in the house. There is deliverance there in the house. And it said that he was followed by the multitude, and many went before him. And when, they, when, when, when the two disciples brought the donkeys back, they laid their garments on the back of the donkey and set the king, the Lord of Lords, on the donkey. And we're riding into Jerusalem to change the world. He came riding in to change your world. When I heard the testimonies of those two young ladies, well, they had to make a decision. Will I sing for the world or will I do it for the glory of God? When you realize that when you make that fundamental change in your heart and you begin to do what God tells you to do and you begin to walk by faith and not by sight, you're going to realize that the change that you make, some folks ain't going to like it anyhow. They begin to say, who is this man coming to town that stirred up everybody here and we want to know what is his purpose? Someone cried out and said, the king. And the, and the word went around the town that the king come riding on a donkey. You got to realize when Jesus started riding and coming into your life, you have to open up the door of your heart in order for him to come in and make a change. You got to realize that the change got to start with you by receiving the power of the Holy Ghost. When you realize that the change going to start with you, and I'm also reminded that when they begin to lay their garments on the donkey, they begin to lay garments and they begin to cut branches off and, and allow him to be able to travel on garments and allow him to be able to travel on palms of leaves and, and they begin to lay it down in the pathway and what Jesus is saying that if you get in my way I'll deliver you out of something if you get in my way I'll begin to show you the glory of God if you get in my way I'll begin to change your mind and your heart if you get in my way there's some changes going to take place and it stirred up the town because they said this is the one that they've been speaking about this is the one that opened up the eyes of the blind the two blind men when the two blind men simply said I believe that you able to, to do these things he said according let it be done unto you according to your faith and they got healed and they began to say this is Mary's baby this is the this is the this is the king that the three wise men began to follow the eastern star this is the king that way Harriet wanted to destroy but he was not able to get to the Mary's baby's boy because God had already made provision yeah. Hallelujah. 
Hi, this is Pastor Victor Hickson, Four Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida. Me and my wife, Veronica Hickson, want to just thank you so much for your support, supporting the ministry, taking out the time to write us letters and all, as well as email your prayer requests in. We just want to say thank you for your support. And as your support, just continue to keep us in prayer as we speak to a nation weekly. We're trusting God that this ministry will expand and even go farther. Me and my lovely wife, Veronica, want to thank you once again for the support of Full Deliverance Baptist Church. And you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Good God. Your praise count. Your song count. Give him a new song. Give him a new praise. Get out of the old frame of mind. Come out of the frame of thought that you're in. That everybody after me, only one person after me, that's the glory of God. I plead the blood of Jesus over the body of this church, over the body of believers that we are not, we not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you want God to do something new in your life and you want that same interest of the Holy Ghost to come on the inside of you, you got to turn around and say, Lord, I'm ready for a change. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what, where it comes from I need Jesus on the inside of me I want to begin to understand Palm Sunday I want to understand I love what Paul said I need to get to know him in the power of his resurrection Some, oh. Come on. Come on. Woo, good God almighty here is Paul the apostle had the decree a consent decree that anybody call on the name of I talk about they've been a change and born again. I have the letter to go ahead and do what I need to do. And that's to stone you to death. And here it is. Stephen. Let me hold his garment here. Stephen. Standing before accusers. And as he's standing before accusers. He didn't back down for his belief. Paul the apostle helped hold before he came, Paul. He helped hold the garment. But old Stephen began to, don't charge it against him. I'm going to pray for him. Every stone hit me, I'm going to pray. Every stone hit me, I'm going to pray. The scripture encounter said that he looked up towards heaven. And he began to pray for those one that despitefully you hates him. And they ultimately killed him. But he didn't miss the glory of God. Why he didn't miss the glory of God? He wasn't full of God. A lot of you going to miss God because you're full of junk. A lot of you going to miss God because you're full of gossip. A lot of you never walk in his glory because you stay full of gossip. You stay full of he say and she say. You stay full of doubt. You stay full of confusion. One thing I could tell you, if you fill the glass up to the rim, nothing else could get in. But if I get myself filled with Jesus Christ, nothing else could get in. But I got to get myself filled. And if I get myself filled, that, 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 the ride that he took 2,000 years ago, I understand the meaning of it. I understand that it's not about my outer uh, tapestry and how I look. I understand that it's not about the I'm, 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 I understand that it's about a conversion that got to take place in, in my heart and in my mind. There has to be a transformation of the Holy Spirit on the inside. If I'm filled up, it's not just on Sunday. If I'm filled up, it's just not on my worship hours. If I'm filled up, it's not I feel like coming to church today. If I'm filled up, it's not that, hey, uh, ain't nobody else going to be there, so I ain't going to be there. One thing I learned that if I'm filled up, Jesus. 
the ride that changed the world. Not just on Sunday. There have to be a Monday that will be full. My attitude should change because the day of the week change. Tuesday, I should be still filled up. Wednesday, my praise and worship and my quiet hour. My Bible study, I come in filled up. I ain't got to come in to be reserviced. I come in already filled up. I come in hungry for the glory of God. I come in and now I have a craving of being filled with the power of God. And when I turn on Thursday, I find out during the middle in the week that what God is getting ready to do for me. But see, one of the, uh, the things is that if I'm filled up, can't nothing get on the inside. See, I got to get filled up first. I got to get full of the word first. I got to get full of his glory, not man and self-glory. I can't do nothing with just a pinch, you know. I can't do nothing with just a swallow when somebody want to, y'all know what I'm talking about. When somebody want to share their drink, with just give me a swallow. No, man, we ain't going to do that. I need some. Three quarters ain't going to do it. Look at this glass. Anything else from this point could get in here. Contamination of my heart. Contamination of my walk. I left so much room till I can't experience Jesus. But I got to go back. Read more word. Spend that quiet time. Spend that me hour with Jesus. Turn off MSSNBC. Turn off your sitcom. Turn off things that keeping you away from God. My text message got to be eliminated if it's going to tear somebody down. But I got to keep on going. Uncertainty. And this is one of the things with the body of Christ. That we get into these ruts. We get into ourself. Could you imagine if Jesus got into himself in this week? If he would have just got into self all week long. When Pilate simply says, you say that you are the king of the Jews. And he said, you say that. As he stand before Pilate, bloody, beaten, disfigured. And they rejected him. Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Victor Hickson. I just want to encourage you in your walk in the Lord throughout this 2013 that you trust God and believe God that he's able to do all things but fail. I would love to rush to you this beautiful bottle of anointing oil. So therefore, you can be able to anoint your home, anoint your children, and trust God that he's able to do all things but fail. This oil is a point of contact where that when you anoint and you believe what the word of God says, that you are able to do all things. All things are possible to them that believe. This is Pastor Victor Hickson just encouraging you for any love offering. This oil is available to you that it will bless you, your family, your neighbors, and your friend. This is Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Gateways to the Florida Keys. And we'd love for you to have this bottle of oil. God bless you. He took on your, I could care less. He took on all of that in his body. Every cancer, lupus, infirmity, 
diabetes, polio, HIV and AIDS, all these infirmities, he took it on. And when he took it on, he shed his blood. But when you take and you fill yourself up, you fill yourself up. When you begin to fill yourself up with the word, fill yourself up with the power. Fill yourself up where that you all the way to the brim. And when you get all the way to the brim, say, Lord, breathe on me. Breathe on me. See, when it filled up, no matter what it is, it can't get down and contaminate. The only time it become contaminated is when me and you forget about who Jesus is. We lose Hashirabah. We lose when our praise and worship go dim. We lose a little when we come self satisfying. We lose a little when it's not my way. But it's just. We lose a little when we can't forgive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we carry on ridiculously. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We lose a little because difference of opinion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I once were filled, but now nah, don't worry about it. I'm on, I'm, Lord, I'm just telling a little white lie. We lose a little bit more. I'm going to tell them a lie down at the food stamp office. I lose a little bit more. I'm going to tell them a lie that my child is not learnable because I want that check for 500 some dollars a month. We go in, I was going to therapy on Friday for my hip and I said, ma'am, she said, how this happened? And I told her how it happened. She said, well, it got to be some other paperwork. I said, well, there's just another opportunity. And she said, what do you mean? I said, it's another opportunity. I'm not going to get angry. But I said, I've never seen something in all my life where you got to lie just to get something done in this town. But I said, I ain't going to lie to get something done in this town. I'm going to tell the truth. And here we are every time we diminish ourselves. Every time. When the, when the saints of God can't show the love of Christ. When you can't embrace anymore, I'm going to teach you more. You can't go any farther. Now what I was filled up with has become contaminated. My thoughts has become contaminated. Somebody say, well, if you just do this, you could get a few more dollars and you have become contaminated. But my Bible says that he bore all in his body. I don't have to be like the crowd in order to get benefits. Because I know God is able. I know God is able. One thing in ministry I found that if you have a great destiny and you have a tremendous amount of faith, it ain't going to hurt and it ain't no harm to be canning and honest with people. I don't need to lie in order to see the glory of God. So I went back home because she said I needed to come back with paperwork. And when I got back there with the paperwork, she said, Mr. Hickson, everybody was talking about you around the office. And I said, well, 
Because you have this aura about you. And when I told you what had to be done, anybody else would have told us off. But you just simply say it's just another opportunity. And somehow she got into the, and we got into the topic of, I said, no, I'm a pastor of a church. And she says, no, that's the reason why you have that aura about you. In the other reception, it says that that ain't cause no pastor, no church. Because we have pastors come here real mean. See, your Holy Ghost got to live on the inside of you. Wherever you go, you got to be holy. And whatever you do, you got to be holy. However you love the God, you love the Lord, you got to be able to exemplify the love of Christ. In the midst of whatever you're going through, and do you know the second time I went, the transaction was done the correct way? And not only that, said when you come back April 1st, all you need to do is just sign here. And everything is done according to documentation and the way it has to be done. When you diminish your walk with Christ, you diminish the glory of God shining on your situation. You begin to diminish yourself where the glory of God is not able to shine because you're speaking and you got to realize that your praise is not only on Sunday. My praise is all through in the week. My joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm going to worship the Lord so no matter who I come in contact with, I'm a representative of the kingdom of God. And when I'm a representative of the kingdom of his glory, I have to be in line to see his glory. I have to get ready to walk in his glory. No matter what I'm faced with, the glory of God will show up every time you tell the truth. If you're going to stay, and the young lady said that, I had two months to me, and I've been toiling and I've been wrestling and I've been dealing with the devil. Not RB, she's dealing with the devil. Dealing with the spiritual side of the devil. Dealing with the money side of the devil. And what I mean is that RB ain't gonna cause nothing to grow but the glory of God. They made a decision that I will begin to sing for the glory of God. Now, in the moment they get filled with the glory, when they get filled with his glory, the song that they sang gonna be on the inside of them. While it's operating on the inside of them, right where you sit, your leg will begin to move. Your hands will begin to move. And the anointing will begin to move in the place. And you say to yourself, I can no longer sit there. Because when you sing up under the anointing, it wakes those things up that are dead. And bring those things to life that they were already dead. And it began to uh, uh, all in my feet. And, and then it get all in my hand. I can't hold my peace. But the king of glory now lives on the inside of me. The change that changed the world. The ride that changed the world. Now calls me to rise up. And begin to live for God. It causes me to rise up and love my enemy. It causes me to rise up and begin to trust God. It causes me to rise. If it had not been for the shaking, I never would have been ready for the Hi, I am Victor Hickson, pastor of Full Deliverance Baptist Church, where little become much when you place it in the master's hands. Tune into our broadcast, Changing Your Direction, Sundays at 1 p.m. on the Impact Network. And remember, everything is moving by the power of God. 
I want you to know that you are viewing me by way of TV. I want you to know that Jesus is the reason for our resurrection and our Easter service. That you realize what he took on in his body and that he was bruised for our iniquity. He was pierced in his side. He was whipped all night long. And not only that, he went to Calvary Hill. So you can live and not die. I want you to realize the ride that changed the world is waiting for you to change your heart, your mind, your talk, the way you live. God is not going to settle for alternative lifestyle. He said there's one woman, there's one man, there's one baptism, there's one faith. Do not allow anybody else to lead you down the road of destruction. My God is a just God. He will deliver Deliver. He said when he returned back, he'll be on a cloud receiving the ones that are filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. The ones that are not filled with the Holy Ghost, there is damnation. There is no power in sin. There is no hope in sin. There is no peace in sin. There is no joy in sin. Your hope is in the Lord of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is power in righteousness. Righteousness. There's power in living right. There's power in loving your enemy. There's power in receiving what thus said the Lord. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson. Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida. Gateway to the Florida Keys. Want to realize and want you to realize that 2013 is the year of expectancy great miracles of God. I want you just to believe God and what you're about to witness that was happening here in Florida City, Florida can happen to you in your home, in your workplace. You just trust God and believe God for your miracle in 2013. And not only your miracle, but your friends and your neighbor and your loved ones. This is Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida, gateway to the Florida Keys.